Good afternoon, classmates and Ms. Ara. My name is Stephanie and I'm going to perform for full bed batting for unconscious and conscious patient. Okay, so I'm going to start now. First, I'm going to wash my hands properly, okay? Then, I will apply my BPA equipment. Before wearing the gloves, enter first at the patient's room. Knock the door first before entering at the patient's room. When already inside at the room, rub the hands with sanitizer and ready to put on the gloves. Always remember to put on the gloves in a proper way. When finish the hand hygiene and donning PPE and already inside the room, introduce yourself, identify the patient, and explain the procedure. Hello ma'am, good afternoon. My name is Stephanie. I will be your healthcare for today. And I'm going to be doing a full bed body for you. Is that okay? You first, name your name. Hi ma'am, are you okay? Okay, so first I will be doing a oral care for you. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna perform an oral care for my conscious patients. Adjust or raise a bed to a comfortable position. Place a towel across patient's chest. I'm going to need toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, and the fluff and lip balm. Okay, first, I'm going to have two cups. Moisten toothbrush. Apply toothpaste. If the patient doesn't have a dentures, encourage patients to brush on teeth or assist if necessary. Brush outer and the inner surfaces. Brush back and forth across biting surface of each tooth. Brush tang gently with toothbrush. Have the patient rinse vigorously with water and spit into emesis basin. Assist patients to floss teeth if appropriate. If the patient doesn't want to floss teeth, offer a mouthwash. When finish the mouthwash, offer the patients a lip balm to avoid the dryness of the lips.
lower one side well and position the patients on the sides with the head tilted forward. Place towel across patient's chest and the emesis basin in position under chin. Gently open the patient's mouth using the tongue depressor padded with gauze. Clean the oral cavity using the foam swab dipped in water. Ask another nurse to help you to do the suctioning while you're doing the oral hygiene. Use another foam swab, which is the dry one, to wipe and remove the exist liquid. Remove equipment that has been used for unconscious oral care and return the patient to a position of comfort. Remove gloves, raise side rail and lower bed. Lower side rail and assist patients to sides of bed. Have patients lie on her or his back. Place bath blankets over patients and then remove the top sheets while patients hold bath blankets in place. Remove patient's gown and keep bath blanket in place. If patient has an IV line, remove the gown from the other arm first. With no cleanser on the washcloth, wipe one eye from the inner part of the eye, near the nose to the outer part. Rinse or turn the cloth before washing the other eye. Now bat the patient's face, neck and ears. Apply appropriate emollient. Expose a patient's near arm and place a towel lengthwise under it. Using firm strokes, wash hands, arm, and axilla. Lifting the arm as necessary to access axilla region. Rinse and dry.
Now repeat the process on the other hand. Place a towel over patient, wash, rinse, and dry chest to abdomen. Keep the chest and abdomen covered between the wash and rinse. Expose leg using firm strokes, wash, rinse if necessary. Dry the leg to knee and to groin and foot. Now repeat the same process on the other leg. Make sure the patient is covered with bath blanket. Change the water and washcloth at this point or earlier, if necessary. Assist patient prone on side lying position. Position back blanket and towel to expose only the back and buttocks. Wash, rinse, and dry back and buttocks area. Pay particular attention to cleansing and observe for any redness or skin breakdown in the sacral area. Clean the perineal area or set the patients up so that the patient can complete perineal self-care. If the patient is unable, lower the rail and complete perineal care.
After finish washing and drying, apply skin moisturizer or lotion. Now, help the patient to put on a clean gown. If the patient has an IV line, put on the first from affected area to a non-affected area. After putting on a clean gown to the patient, assist the patients with the use of other personal toiletries such as deodorants or cosmetics. Return the clean blanket and remove the bath blanket while the patient is holding the clean blanket. When finished, make sure the patient is comfortable with side rail up and the bed in the lowest position. Lower the head of the bed. Remove pillow and place protective pad under patient's head and shoulder. Place a drain container underneath the drain of the shampoo board. Pour pitcher of warm water slowly over patient's head, making sure that all hair is saturated. Apply a small amount of shampoo to patient's hair. Massage deep into the scalp, avoiding any cuts, lesions, or sore spots. Rinse with warm water until all shampoo is out of hair. If patient has thick hair or requests it, apply a small amount of conditioner to hair and massage throughout rinse with warm water. But dry the hair of the patient. Remove protective padding but keep one dry under patient's hair. Replace the pillow. Gently brush hair, removing tangles as needed. Inspect the patient's fingers, toes, and feet. Fill a wash basin half full with warm water. Test the water temperature. Have the patient immerse her or his feet in the water. Instruct also the patient to place her or his fingers in the emesis basin. At the same time, allow the patient's feet and fingernails soak for 10 minutes.
trim the fingernail straight across at the level of the fingers or follow the curve of the finger. File the nail to dull any sharp corners. Repeat the process on the other hand. Dry the patient's foot thoroughly and then trim or cut the two nails. Trim the nail straight across at the level of the two or follow the curve. File the nail to dull any sharp corners. Now repeat the same process on the other foot. Rub lotion thoroughly into the patient's hands and feet. Look at patient's facial hair and skin to assess for any broken skin or reddened areas. Place a towel over the patient's chest and shoulder. Apply the warm, moist washcloth over the patient's facial hair for several seconds. Apply enough of shaving cream or soap to the patient's face, smooth the cream evenly over the sides of the patient's face, over his chin, and under his nose. Hold the razor in your dominant hand at a 45 degrees angle to the patient's skin. Use non-dominant hand to gently pull the skin while shaving. Rinse his face thoroughly with another warm moist washcloth, dry face thoroughly. Apply aftershave lotion if the patient wishes. Place a bath towel over the patient's chest and shoulder. Apply a skin conditioner or pre-shave preparation to the patient's face. Turn the razor on and begin by shaving across the sides of the patient's face. Gently hold the patient's skin taut while shaving over the skin surface. Use a gentle downward stroke of the razor in the direction of the hair growth. Wash with clean water and spot dry the face. When finished, apply an aftershave lotion if the patient wishes.